Okay, so uh, we're, this is a, a, a lead in Christensen Consulting. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, so today we're just going to quickly go over uh, the internal and external um, competitive factors um, analysis. We're going to do the key factors, kind of bringing some of those together, um, and recommendations, and then conclude. All right, so certain key strengths we found about your business were that your rentals provides you a 40% EBITDA margin, whereas it's a total composition of 6% of your revenue, which is really good. Your lessons as well provides you with a 58% EBITDA margin, where it's a 4% of your total revenue. With that being said as well, you do have a lot of community support as exhibited by the amount of visitors that come the fact that your board members also work and ski in the same community, as well as the fact that the, the altitude the ski hills you have are very competitive with Timber Valley as well too. Certain weaknesses that we found with your operations were that the restaurant EBITDA margin was only at 2%, but the total revenue it contributes is 18% of your overall revenue for operations. The ski lift operations portion of your business was the most detrimental to you, where it lost 33% and it comprises 40% of your total revenues, which is extremely concerning. As well as, in conjunction to that, from 2009, there was a drop of 5.29% of visitors, which was about 2,300 visitors from that year to now 2010. And from 2006 to 2010, there was a drop of 4.2 to 2.8 million in revenues. With regards to certain strengths that business is facing right now, is that the $2.14 million mortgage obligation that Ian uh, McMahon, MacArthur owns right now, while you are making principal uh, interest payments only without the fixed principal portion of the mortgage, it doesn't increase your fixed costs per month. Uh, so in a way, that is being beneficial for you. You also have 111% return on revenue to assets, which is really good as well too. As well, Syracuse is having a population right now currently of 145,000 and 170 people, which are all potential clients that you could tap into or at least capitalize on. Certain weaknesses are right now you are facing accounting insolvency with a debt to assets ratio of 1.2, as well as the fact that your overall, la your overall labor expenses amount to 43.45% of total revenues, which is extremely concerning. So that we've just bridged some of the gaps. Um, we have a great opportunity. Uh, your leverage. You have the great uh, community support with the uh, the mortgage without having principal payment at this time. So you definitely increases your short term liquidity. Uh, your high credit credit is very useful, and negative working capital is also a sign of this. Um, this is one of the problems we've identified. Um, this is um, kind of using your some of your competitors, um, where they have much lower revenue to assets but they're still making a profit. So as we can see, we're more than double the revenues uh, to assets, but we have a, a loss. So this is a problem for your competitors. Um, we have a vulnerability where you have uh, your lessons department uh, margin of 58%, um, but the visitor numbers have dropped by uh, just over 5%. So it's a low portion of your business, so therefore it's not um, contributing as much to your overall business profit, um, and it's visitor account dependent, which is reducing. Uh, another constraint you have, um, the restaurant, the EBIT DA margin is only 2%, where um, the average is 40 to 50% for a ski hill cafeteria. Um, we have a Cypress Mountain as the uh, example for that. Um, and it's a high proportion of your business, uh, you need to focus on higher uh, margin meals. Um, this potentially is an operational issue. You need to look at the management of that area specifically. Um, we, um, this is just a concept we had uh, as a marketing and pricing strategy for a $20 membership fee for either peer, peer, uh, New York citizens or uh, Syracuse or county citizens. You could uh, offer for adults $20 uh, to be a member, and then you have a declining rate for ski lift tickets, encouraging further uh, usage of the resort, and potentially even uh, in the future having pass holders um, have if they continue to use it frequently. 
Uh, some short, short, uh, some short-term recommendations that we thought might um, support you in terms of bringing back liquidity to your business is to reduce your staffing during off season if you're not doing so already. But again, in the future, it will save you a lot more. Um, certain things such as certain differentiation strategies, such as implementing kids camps or kids programs, where now families can come out, um, the kids get daycare, the parents can ski, they can go to the resorts, as well older kids or beginning skiers, like the little children, if they don't know how to ski already, you can promote your lessons portion of the business to them, so you can capitalize again that way. Um, promote night skiing. Based off of your daily ticket sale, or rather your ticket sales for the period, Night sales, uh, nightly ticket sales are actually fairly high as well too, and they are at par with Devil's uh, Hill. So in terms of comparative services, that will let you capitalize more as your hills are better than them as well too. With regards to providing um, an ease of transportation, you could possibly create a shuttle service where people that live 35 minutes away or 90 minutes away, you can provide that transportation for them. Um, and it would be ideal to do this almost as, let's say, a partnership with a uh, shuttle provider where there's no outlay of cash from you, but they're willing to provide their services. So ergo, it's almost like a mutually beneficial uh, partnership. As well with regards to off-season utilization, you currently don't do as much of that right now. So certain activities such as paragliding, uh, music conventions or conventions, anything of the sort like that, music festivals, would promote the use of your premises, again, allowing revenue to come in where there's none right now. Some longer term goals. Um, you can target Canadian customers right now in uh, May of uh, 2010, the Canadian dollars at parity, uh, with 12.7 million people living in Southern Ontario, and five million of those in the Greater Toronto area are only four hours away from Syracuse. Um, Buffalo and Albany are also two major cities close by. Uh, one concept we had, you do make a profit on your hotels, but Vegas style hotel pricing, where you have a very low hotel price to encourage people to come to your restaurant, or people to come to your resort, and therefore provide all the services, then you make money on ticket sales, restaurants, and everything else that you can offer. Um, we can use the high altitude, that is a differentiating factor. Um, you can use a longer ski season, um, hella season, if you look at Whistler Blackcomb, Blackcomb offers year-round skiing with its high, um, high uh, altitude, and the quality of snow are some differentiating factors that you can use to your advantage. So generally speaking, the conclusion, um, we need to increase sales in the short term without outlays of cash. Um, we've outlined a few of those. One of the ideas is using a social media um, market uh, by hiring uh, a local university intern. Um, you should be careful when you're looking at labor costs uh, because of your support from the community is very beneficial. Um, this could negatively impact the community support. Plus, your labor costs are relatively in line with your competitors. Um, and you have, again, you have the big uh, uh, option of the revenue to asset percentage is comparatively high. So of all of your assets, you're getting quite a few dollars coming through for all of them. Thank you very much, Mr. Cartier.